Hello everyone, my name is Ilar and I study at the University of Kansas. Today I would like to share some tricks and tips on finances and how you can save some money as a student. My biggest advice to new international students in the US is to apply for a credit card and get one as soon as they can. Having a good credit score can open up many opportunities for you. You can have a banking account with a big bank such as Bank of America or you could have a smaller one with local branches. For example, the University of Kansas has a partnership with Community America Credit Union. This is very beneficial to international students because anytime you have a question or you would like to discuss some topics, you can always find a branch on campus and it makes it easier and more accessible. Additionally, smaller unions have a lot of perks when you join them. For example, Community America helps you win money while learning about credit scores, banking accounts, and all that important information that is vital to surviving and having healthy finances in the United States. This bank on campus offers KU students to participate in a trivia where they give away $3,000 in 30 minutes. You answer your questions and if you get them right, you can win a gift card. And this is truly amazing because not only you learn a lot of new things, you can also win some money. Depending on your needs, one bank might be better than the other. For example, my Bank of America Travel Rewards card doesn't have any international fees, which means that I don't have to pay any extras when I'm traveling. Or for example, Apple Card helps you with any Apple purchase and you get a pretty good cash back. It's very important to do your research before you apply for a credit card or for a checking account because there might be some hidden fees that you might not know about. So I strongly urge you to sit down, look at the papers that you're signing and make an informed decision. Additionally, as a KU student, I get a lot of discounts. Um, and this is a norm for the US because as a student, you can get different deals that are very beneficial. There are often buy one, get one free deals, also known as BOGO which means that you can buy one thing and you get the second one for free. This is a great deal, for example, here for Who Hot Mongolian Grill, we can just go with a friend and split the cost of one meal by two because one of us is eating free and that helps you save some money. Another good way to save some money is to cook at home. Dining out might get really expensive and you might lose track of how much money you spend when you dine out. But if you're cooking some food at home, not only you would get some foods that you're familiar with and you can help yourself with your homesickness, but you would also save significant amount of money. Another great resource for college students is campus pantries where you can access food for free and you can stop there every other week or however frequently you'd like it to and you can get free food there if you're struggling financially. I also recommend being on a lookout and looking at bulletin boards at your university because you get to know about the events that are being hosted and oftentimes they're going to be free for college students with your student ID, which means that you can save money on entertainment. For example, I went to a concert at Allen Fieldhouse and I didn't pay anything and that was super cool because I got to see Run DMC but for free. To sum things up, there are so many different ways college students can save money. Let me know if you have any questions or I would be happy to hear your tips and tricks on how you save and handle finances while in school.